Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to explain to you how I passed the in burgering A2 exams with A1 preparation and secured the EU long term permanent residence permit. So, what is a Dutch in burgering exams? It is a society integration exam which consists of six exams reading, writing, listening, speaking, Dutch society knowledge and employment knowledge. If you are already working in the Netherlands, then you are exempted from the employment knowledge exam as it was in 2021. If there is any change in rules in 2022, then you must check the DUO website. They are the official organizing agency who organize all these exams. I will put the site description in the description below. The pass for each exam is a 6 out of 10, just like any Dutch education. For me, the writing and speaking uh, was the most difficult as I felt before giving the exams. But after the exams, I think speaking was much easier than I expected. Writing is a bit tough, uh, but still it is on the easier side. And with even less preparation, you can manage if you know certain phrases and sentences and prepare beforehand of certain scenarios. I'll talk about them in details later in the video. I think the one that I underestimated was the Dutch society knowledge exam. That was the toughest but I thought that will be the easiest. It's because of time management. I got around nine or nine to 10 uh, in between nine and 10 in reading, listening and passed them in the first attempt. For speaking and writing, I also passed in the first attempt. I was very afraid of writing score. Uh, in speaking, I got seven and in writing, I also got seven and I passed. But for the Dutch society knowledge, I got a five and did not pass. So, uh, I passed it in the second attempt, however, with a nine. In total, uh, you have to pay around 250 euros for all the five exams. And you can book a location and time for the exams from the Duo website. They host everything there. Normally, you should book like one to two months before as it was in 2021 when I was giving my exams around May, June 2021. Because sometimes they are very, very busy and during COVID, it was even busy. So better to book them early and sometimes you also don't get all the exams. So I, because for me, I was in Valkenburg, for me, I had to go to Eindhoven. That was my nearest center. So I had to travel a lot. So that's why I tried to choose as much exams as I can give in one day. But still, I could not find all the five exams in one day. So it was like, I think two, two, one or something like that. And again, the one that I didn't pass, I have to go again. So I went like four times to give five exams, basically six because another was a reset. So I paid like 300 euros because I did not pass one exam. So I had to give it again. Now coming to the next point, what are the chances of passing in first attempt based on my experience? What are the difficulty level of the exams? So during my time, all the exams were of A2 level till A2 level. Uh, however, recently I have heard that they have increased it to B1 level and there are some changes in the rules. So go and check it out in the website um, of the Duo website. It will be in the description below. So I prepared mostly till A1 level, but still I was able to pass the A2 level exams. I used mostly three books to prepare. One was Welcome in Netherlands, which was mostly about the society integration and also to learn about certain Dutch words, the vocab to get to know about the different uh, phrases and words commonly used. And this is another book which I want to sell. Actually, I had two books of this one I already sold and this is already sealed, not even open. So you can get access to online test. If you're interested, do comment in the comment below. I can sell you at a lower price than what you get in the web shop bold.com. So this teaches you about all the grammars. This is called Tal Talent 1. And this was used by the Maastricht University crash course that I had in December 2020. It helped me immensely. So after this, you can know like what you need to do when you like how you call the father, mother, all the relationship. There's another chapter about housing, another ch about chapter about uh, going to supermarket, having basic conversations. So there are like eight or nine chapters which teach you everything about the Dutch society and also the grammar. 
so it helps a lot immensely and they say that this is still a1 but i would say this is even sufficient for a2 or b1 because it teaches you it establishes your base so which is very very vital and there is another book which i don't have it now because i already sold it so that was also about the uh, integration that was about integration exam and that book uh, i will put a picture of it on the screen somewhere that i bought very at the very end when i did not pass the society that society knowledge exam knm knis netherlands smart scape so that one uh, that book i think is like a very good summary so this gives you details about welcome in netherlands but uh, that book helped me a lot um at the end and then i passed it with a 9 before i got a 5 so i would say just check that book out also after you have prepared everything for the knm exam because knm exam is kind of now i'll go to each exam one by one uh, so yeah and i would say the level of exam like reading writing speaking and listening was not a2 they say it is a2 but i think it is something like a1 plus a2 minus so even with a1 preparation you can easily pass my friends trust me so going to individual exams reading reading can be passed easily i i think i got like 9 or 10 and if you know very basic touch some important words vocab is more important grammar is not at all important for passing reading listening second part uh, listening can be easily passed if you know the same vocab and practice a little little listening to basic slow dutch maybe from this book because every book has like a online access of the resources and daily life obviously with your office or colleagues if you have stayed for 5 years why not take advantage of the opportunity that you have uh, speaking is even easier than expected there are lot of hints in the part you have to speak so it felt very easy it was really really easy they give you hints to how to answer only you have to frame the sentences part 2 of speaking kind of tested your grammar in the form of mcqs they are very basic fundamental grammars but if you are not really prepared even with the base grammar like i was i wasn't prepared then it can confuse you a lot because the multiple choice is very confusing so that part 2 i think i made some mistakes i don't know how much but i think i got in speaking 6 or 7 so it's okay i passed it in the first attempt so again practice speaking with your colleagues as much as you can this will give you confidence before appearing for the exams and also try to brush up your grammar skills from this book it's very helpful uh writing will be easier if you know basic grammar apart from that i made like a page a cheat sheet by cheat sheet i mean that was like towards the end so that i can revise for my own uh, confidence and preparation i put in some basic phrases and sentences that you will know like suppose i go to a supermarket what do i say to the shopkeeper or suppose i invite someone then how do i write a letter some basic things because that is what they ask they are like there are four different themes four different types of questions in writing and each question is on a certain topic sometimes you need to write a email sometimes you need to write a letter sometimes so i cannot go into the details because all these exams we signed a non disclosure agreement so that we should not talk in details what happened in the exams but still i'm giving an short idea and you can obviously go to duo website they have sample exams on all these topics and you can get a pretty much good idea of what happens there uh that society exam seems very easy but beware of the time it runs very fast you have to listen to like a conversation and then there will be three four questions based on that and so it's more like application of your knowledge of that society in that particular context not exactly just testing rote memorization or something like that uh, so in the first attempt i got a 5 then second attempt i got 9 out of 10 which i am very happy that book i think you will be flashing on the screen here i don't have it now because i've already sold it what are the advantages so as you have seen in my past videos you it allows you to apply for eu pr dutch pr or citizenship and there are many other benefits but these are the basic primary things for which people give these exams what are the new changes planned for 2022 as i mentioned they have increased the exam to b1 the municipality will be more involved in conducting the exam along with duo so again go to the website they have structured it very nicely for dutch english both the languages and 
check them out, check the formats, give some sample exams and then you get the confidence. So final question before I end this video, when is the right time to start preparing and is there an expiry date after you receive the results? Regarding the expiry date, I have no idea. Uh, I checked somewhere. I'm not sure it's not official probably two to three years after the exams but it's always valid like even more than a year you can also ask this question to duo when is the right time so I would say probably one to two years before you become eligible for PR or citizenship you should plan for these exams because you are not sure that maybe because of some uh, it may ha so happen that you are prepared well, but because you are unlucky or something happened with time management that you are not able to pass in the first attempt. So anything can happen. So it's always better to prepare beforehand, give some time for the exam. So better to prepare one to two years before including your preparation time for the exams. Uh, go check out the new rules. I hope you like this video. It helped you in some way. Please share this video. Help out others, your friends. Don't forget to smash the like button. Share this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Till next video. Goodbye from Netherlands. Peace.